Hi, welcome to Ms. Cooper's art class. Today we're going to be learning how to draw simple mazes. They are very easy. All you need is a pencil, a pen, and an eraser. So let's grab some paper and get started. So first I'm going to show you there are two ways to draw your lines. You could go very straight or very curved. I'm going to show you a variety. But all mazes are going to have a pencil track in the middle that shows your path and then it will be outlined in pen. Make sure you save room for a start and a finish somewhere on your page. So just leave at least a little bit of a tunnel at the very edge or clearly mark it for the people doing your maze. If you do a curved maze, those ends are a little more obvious. So let's get started on a completely blank sheet of paper. So while I show you the basics, I'm not even going to make a full outline on the maze. I'm just going to go for that path. So I'm going to draw this in pencil because I'm going to get rid of it later. What you want to do is start drawing a line that meanders from the start to finish in your space. You want to make sure that it's complicated enough that this is a satisfying maze and the person doing it feels like they have actually accomplished something when they get to the end of it. After that, the fun part is going in off of that track you've already drawn and starting to draw some other paths through the maze that ultimately don't go anywhere. So I just let that one dead end, that's an obvious dead end, but sometimes you can tuck them into corners or make them go really far in the maze and kind of twist and turn and get them a little bit turned around um, so they feel like they're about to complete it, but then they actually don't. We want to make this a tricky enough maze that people enjoy doing it. Once you have that pencil path done the way you want to, you can go ahead and switch over to your pen. With your pen, you're going to make sure that you are going in between every single pencil line that you have just drawn. So there should be no parallel pencil lines that are not separated by some pen. And if you get to a dead end, you kind of just go around it and leave that nub in the middle of the maze. So go ahead in and trace around all of those lines don't accidentally double over the start or the finish like I did. And then once you are done with that, you can erase all of your lines. Now this maze doesn't look very neat because mostly I was just showing you how to draw that path. But up next, I'm going to show you how to draw a maze that looks a little bit neater and nicer and like what you would present to other people. Now there is one trick to doing this, which is that you could just trace your maze through the piece of paper, but then sharpen up your edges. That is always an option, but it helps if you come up with just a nicer start. So I'm going to move that out of the way and remind you that you can use any style you want to. As long as you fully commit to it, it will look absolutely awesome. So for this one, I'm tracing out a circle. Circles tend to look very neat and very nice. And I'm going to leave two tails sticking out of this circle to be my start and finish. Once I have these clearly labeled and outside the circle, so it's really obvious where they are, I will trace the circle right away and make sure that I trace out the tunnels from the start and the finish so I don't accidentally go back over them. Once I finished those, it was time for pencil. I wanted this maze to look really wiggly and complicated because that tends to make people think a little bit longer when they're solving it. And I also made the dead ends as I went because that kind of put me in the brain of the person who's solving the maze. Um, so I was able to make dead ends that went a little bit farther and were a little trickier to figure out. I also made the lines super wiggly because I knew that when I went back around them with the pen, the pen would smooth things out just a little bit. And I still wanted this to look really complicated and intimidating to someone who was gonna solve it, even though it really shouldn't take more than five minutes to solve. This part was a little bit tedious, but also kind of relaxing at the same time. The hardest part was just making sure that I went back and went in between every single line. After that, it was time to Erase, which is pretty easy. I used a flare pen. They dry quickly. I wasn't afraid of smearing it. Something that I did here that you could do too is make a key for your maze in case you make something complicated or um, you just kind of like to have them on hand. And then you can always trace the maze too. 
in this maze, I mixed up some styles, but really your maze can take whatever form you want it to take now that you know the basics. You could outline a city and make someone have to navigate through there. You can make it look like a map or a castle. Um, up next, I would like to make a video showing how to make a 3D maze using the isometric grid. Um, so that's where we're headed next. So if you hit subscribe, then you will be ready for that next video to draw an even more complicated maze. Anyway, with that, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of your views, and I hope you enjoyed learning something new today. If you have any questions, please comment or hit the like if you enjoyed this, and subscribe for more. Happy drawing!